Hi everyone, my name is Hevanchi Fernando and I'm here with Annette Caseman Rice, who is part of AFCM. I'm gonna let her uh, introduce herself to you first. Yeah, I've been with AFCM from the beginning. Uh, for one, for those of you who don't know, uh, my dad and mom are Jim and Kathleen Caseman, the founders of AFCM. And also my husband, the Rice, comes in with Pastor Rod Rice, who has been around AFCM for a long, long time um, as a regional director. And now he's on the support team um, as an advisor to Jim and Kathleen Caseman and the pastors, the church here in wonderful Wilmer, Minnesota. I had to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what is AFCM and what does it mean to you? Well, AFCM is a ministerial organization where missionaries, pastors, um, traveling ministers can get their legal ordination status so they can do official things like weddings and funerals and be recognized that way. But it's more than that, then it's also a family, like many people say. It truly is, because, um, and not just because it's my family in the natural, it's my parents, um, but that's just why we have the annual conferences and the the meetings around in your region so you can get to know the other ministers in your area and it, it, it's not only then the covering that you need legally to be an ordained minister but it's a covering to um, kind of like protect you like um, like Jesus is the sh shepherd of the flock but Jim Caseman then is you know he's he's in charge of the AFCM ministers and uh, he's done it a long time um, he's a man of integrity and character and he he makes sure he follows the word. Um, and if you've been around AFCM at all a long time, you know that, that um, if there's anything about false doctrine, he's gonna address it and make sure AFCM doesn't fall into it. And there's, um, he's, he's kept us safe over all these years. Okay. So, what are the specifications or the requirements to be a part of AFCM or an AFCM member? Well, you don't have to be in full-time ministry. A lot of people think you have to be in full-time ministry. But we have different categories, like for ordination, you probably are a full-time pastor or something like that. But a lot of our pastors still work a secular job. So that doesn't disqualify you from becoming. So it's, you can also just be like in helps ministry. Um, if you help with the Bible studies in your church or um, doing some form of ministry, but not maybe full-time, you still can be a part of AFCM just to have that covering of, of protection and fellowship and to make sure you're staying on a straight and narrow path. Of course, my dad would always say you research everything for yourself and make sure you stay in the Bible yourself. But you, you need, you can't be what's, you know, by yourself, especially in these end times, you need to have that connection of other ministers and um, just to, like if sheep are more, if they're together in their flock and you don't wander off and be that single one that can get, get attacked. What is one thing that you love about it? I love the founders. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love them too. <laughs> you can enter that out of this recording. <laughs> no, we can put it in. Um, I love that it is more, it's not just the members aren't just members, that they are actually, we know them. We know most of them. We And if we don't know you yet, we want to get to know you. And that's partly your part to come to the meetings and be part of the family by that way, letting us get to know you better. I don't know, I just think it's the best ministerial organization because of that, because we can, uh, we wanna know you, we wanna be close to you and, and help you when you need help. And that's one thing that AFCM is very good at is they um, are very mission-minded and they help missions around the world whenever there's a need. We put that need out there and the, the pastors from around the world and in America, they, they would do what they can and everybody doing their part helps helps a lot. Of course, AFCM has a Facebook page, they have Instagram um, and their website, afcminternational.org. If you are not currently a member, you can go on the website and there's a tab that says members. If you just click on that, it has all the instructions on how to print out the application form and how to become a member. Um, and if you're a missionary, we've got a, a reduced rate for you because we want to make sure people from around the world can feel more of a part. And of course, it's harder for them to come up with a registration or application fee. But it, it's pretty minor, uh, minimal. It's it's um, cheaper than most ministerial organizations. And I mean, we do have to, there's a lot of paperwork and things that have to be done, but um, we'd, we'd love to have you be a part if you're not. And we want to thank all of you that have been a part of AFCM for a long time. How can we stay connected to AFCM and when is the next AFCM meeting? The next bigger AFCM meeting, like there's meetings in your region, 
um, even in different countries, they're not as regularly, but that we do have annual meetings in Peru and other countries too. So you, once you become a member, you'll get connected to your area. Like um, if you're up in our area in Minnesota and the surrounding states, we're the upper Midwest region. We have our own Facebook page. That's a private page. So meetings get posted in there. So whatever area you're in, um, depending on how many members are there, like since Minnesota is bigger, we have monthly meetings here that you can connect to. But we always have our annual AFCM meeting and it's here in Wilmer, Minnesota, the last full week of June, which is June 20th, <laughs> 20th, 20th. 23rd. through 23rd. It's a Monday through Thursday. And that's where we encourage everybody to come to. We usually have a lot from other countries. The last couple of years, that's been harder for them to come to. but. Um, so we welcome you to come in June. You have plenty of time to plan for that and be a part of that where you can um, just get a taste of all of the members from around the world and uh, be able to join and connect and what you need to be, fellowship is of importance and get fed good quality word um, to be able to grow. But this year we're starting something new uh, where we're gonna have a mini family uh, meeting in Florida coming up at the end of February February 21st, just through the 23rd. So it's just two nights. Um, and that will be in Tampa, Florida. So go check out the AFCM Facebook page or website and information about that is on there. And that's one way if you're closer to that. But there's cheap tickets to Florida at this time. So, and, and if you're in a Minas like Minnesota where it's really, really cold, Florida is a good place to go in February. For sure. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Annette Caseman Rice <laughs> for being with us. Uh, AFCM Youth, we are big. Stay connected with us. We love you. We will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.